Okay guys, so today I'm back with another vlog and today I'll be heading to a cafe called Dessert Malayan. This cafe is actually a Singaporean cafe opened by a Singaporean many years ago. I've been there once but I vlogged and everything disappeared. So I'm here again today because there's a group of Singaporeans in Seoul who is organizing an event for Singaporeans. So what happened is they cater like Singapore food for us So I ordered a set and we want to try some stuff in the Malayan cafe as well So yes, I'll be meeting my friend Samantha I'll show you around the area and if it's really authentic or not Let's go! It's located in Hongdae It's quite easy to find If you search Dessert Malayan, Dessert Malayan, it will come out And yeah, even if you key in Malayan, you just spell according to the English word English word, it will come out also, so yeah, it's just there. <laughs> so we have reached here, it's called there. It's really in the middle of the intersection of Hongdae Zone. So. And the Prime Minister came with for Lee Shen Long. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. Bravo, <laughs> Singapore. Okay, so this is the cafe that we are at and um, this is the menu that they have. So you can see right there. I think Lee Sin Long came here before. And this Ken. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, he's the boss here. So I came before and I talked to him before. This is my hair and then there's this. Okay, so most importantly, this one is a Singaporean style kaya toast with eggs. It's very legit but we'll try later. I think if you try, it's more legit. Okay. And then they also have Tang Yuan. <gasps> and they got this also, bahu bread. Bakwa. So we are here and we are going to try the bihun that they make. Okay, so this is the kind of breakfast that I have every Saturday morning. My dad buys it for me. It's so hard to find. Okay, so this is the kind of set that they give. It's always bihun egg, luncheon meat, fish cake and chicken wing. And this is actually butter. Dumpling, Chinese dumpling. There's meat inside. And then of course you the soft boiled egg and kaya toast. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god, it's a chili. Oh my god, it's so legit. Okay, so I'm gonna try with sambal. <laughs> Quite local. But this is the type of food that I never buy in Singapore. I just feel this is flour. I don't pay for it. I don't want it. I only eat it when there's free meal including it. Mm. But the taste really, really there. Mm. Close eye, ah. I can see Malayan already. <laughs> I cannot try like that. So cold. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What is this? Huh? Fish cake. Okay, I'm gonna try the kaya toast. 
Nice. This is legit. But I'm very excited to give you a turn. That's how you eat it. Nice. Yeah. 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 This one, one sip you can tell. This is the coffee that comes from the uh, grandma socks one. The taste is there. <laughs> See ya. Uh, but box sugar, uh, right? Box sugar. Uh. Oh yeah. 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 Copy it really, really. But I like this the most so far. And then this. <laughs> yeah. I'm not but no, the taste there. Like, mm. A bit like a bit like what Hachong Kai ah. The steam a bit a bit, but a bit more pop taste I think. Mm. So uh, we kind of just finished our meal and I think it was quite nice and um, because coming here there was like an event so um, of course we had to meet Singaporeans here right? Don't you miss home? Okay, yeah so anyway um, here are a few of the friends that I just met so yes you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> yeah just say like your name all. Oh, I'm Jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm Esmond, hi. Yeah. <laughs> so um these guys have been here for a while I guess and so what do you miss most about Singapore? Food <laughs> it's, it's very hard to find food here, right? Yeah, it is. What food my mum I miss my mum. <laughs> hi mum. <laughs> oh you yeah. send you the link. I don't know. How do you like being here or doing COVID? <laughs> Stay home all the time, so. Right. Don't you miss Singapore because the case very low, and all go out and stuff. Uh, no? Not really. Uh, okay, Singapore is very stable, though. Right. Yeah. Do you guys think you guys can go back to Singapore? I'm definitely going back November. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why? 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 Okay, so um, as you know today we came to the restaurant uh, as in this uh, Malayan cafe, dessert Malayan cafe and this is the boss Ken, he's very nice to so, uh, the Singaporeans gather here and also introduce us to one another yeah so uh, just a few questions in, okay. um, Oh so, introduce yourself maybe? Oh yes introduce yourself Hi my name is Ken <laughs> and I'm running this dessert Malayan cafe in Seoul yep. for about almost 6 years already six six years. Years. Oh. It's more a, than six years. More than six years. Yeah. It's not an easy job though, but yeah. we managed to
you know, I have resigned after I've resigned from my, my, my nine to five job, I thought I want to do something different. Mm. So so and I thought uh, what can I do next? So I I, I I came to visit Korea a long time ago and uh, I, I, I like this place, <coughs> the, the environment, the, the scenery, everything. So uh, in the end I decided to do something. I thought, oh maybe I can try something. Because the time when I come to Korea, mm. I realized that it's so hard to find Asian food, especially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just Definitely. our way. Sometimes you, you, you crave for like the Asian food. Even the Chinese food is it's so hard to find. So we kind of miss that kind of taste. Yeah, I so I thought, oh, why there isn't any? In fact, that time, 10 over years ago, very, very, very hard to find. So it, come, it came to my mind that, okay, maybe I should try to start something here. And then uh, uh, I, I thought over and I think, uh, okay. Your sweet, something sweet is international. Yep. So I, I started with dessert. So I oh. thought is, maybe dessert is easiest to to get into a new yeah, environment. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So after which um okay and I decided to do a cafe style like in Singapore actually we have we have like those um we, we call it tong so oh. that kind of thing. Yeah. And then I thought okay maybe I'll just share one here. But I realized that um, the Korean actually they, they are not into that kind of dessert. So finally, I decided. So, okay, then I should do a cafe because cafe culture here is still very strong. Yeah. But then I want to be different. I don't want to be like any Korean cafe. So I thought, okay, our Southeast Asia cafe can be quite interesting. Mm. Something new to Korean. This is how I, I just venture into it. Then which one is at least the best response from the like? Oh, like what like try? Best, at least, at least. Oh, definitely. I think. I think. Uh, what represents Singapore most is kaya toast. Yo, I was thinking about it! And kaya, you know, kaya jam is still Korean people's favourite. Yeah, yeah. You look for it at least. Yeah, at least uh, Korean people once to talk about uh, kaya jam, they know all. They, they, they know, know what's kaya jam. They know. Like you don't have to explain it's coconut or that, you uh, just say kaya jam. Uh, some are not very sure, but then, you know, kaya jam came in a few, come in a few varieties. Correct, correct, correct. Like they have like, Maybe pandan flavor, coconut flavor, uh -oh, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so so but in general, uh, they are still okay with the the, the our brown sugar kind of uh, style. They don't like the most. Like, they don't like the yeah. most. Yeah. Let me see. Like you tried it a few times, but uh, oh, okay, you we, clearly we, know they don't like it. Actually, we tried um, you know the black glutinous rice oh. dessert before, which which is a favorite for me. No, I love it so much. It's called right? I love polo hitam. Polo hitam. Yeah. It's, it, it's my favorite, but then we, we tried it, but it was not successful here because I just yeah, don't know why Korean though. Korean just doesn't take our kind of dessert. Like even our red bean dessert, oh, they do have hot yeah, chocolate. It's have. different, but it's different. Yeah, it's different. So our style is not their style. Also, if it's like the normal baby so they also don't really. No, no. even like blue thumb, they will find that it's weird. And sometimes when certain thing that they are not familiar, they will not order. That's true. That's yeah. true. That's true. So you need you need to do a lot of marketing like people talk about it or some celebrities who ate it before and say yeah. about it. You know, Kaya Jam got popular because uh, you know last time we have a they have there's a group called Sister. Oh I think one yeah. member went to a program to try, together, to, to try Kaya Jam to make Kaya Jam for breakfast. Yeah. And then this is how more and more people are curious about it. Oh, okay. the table. What is your favorite Korean food? Uh, I would have to say my favorite would be like uh, I think Korean make very good chicken. <laughs> you, you won't be wrong. I mean, when when you when you want to introduce a friend to eat something Korean food, I think if you order chicken, you won't get any wrong. Because yeah. Korean make all kinds of chicken is so good. Yeah. Okay. Which okay. chicken is your favorite? Uh, which like, brand and which? Oh, uh, I think brand is bit sensitive. <laughs> oh, that's true. In case every brand they come and look for me, why you didn't say my brand? No, no, no. Like like just your favorite, the taste that you like the most. The taste. Of for, the how, chicken. What do you like nowadays? Me, I always eat the kumne pasta Yeah, recently, ah, recently I, I found oh, the kumne and I like it. I like it because it's um grilled, a bit grilled, grilled. Yeah, grilled. Like, and like it's a bit like juicy, <laughs> not too dry. So like I, I love that. <laughs> and uh, at times I take BHC also. Oh. Yeah. BHC is not too bad. In fact, Korean most of the place you go good, to, right? most of the chicken, those brand, so called the brand already there. Yeah. Most of them won't disappoint you. Uh, what was the event name? Uh, today, okay, um, there's no specific name. Yeah, this is the first time we try out this event. How is uh, it? How? Because you know, uh, a lot of Singaporeans who stay here, they miss Singapore, yeah. just like I myself. 
I do miss pork so I feel like, oh I feel like think eating something for fun like, oh but I could I couldn't find any yeah. I feel oh I think I have to give up thinking about Singapore food and then just nice we have a Singapore lady who is so good in cooking yeah, her name is Cassandra She's, she can cook anything she can make from she can make bak chang she can anything you need she can even make me pork so I said oh, I can't imagine there's me pork here suggest to me why not we, we we try some event here once in a while like once a month or something. oh yes please I mean to do different Singapore food and then um, let the Singapore come here at least the Singaporean they come here they can mingle they can, mingle, they can, they can eat what they need so yes, so if you are if you are Singaporean watching this video and you live in Korea and you haven't visited this cafe, there's gonna be events like they'll say they said they are trying to plan it every month or like once in a while at least so that we can all gather. Cause I I guess it's COVID then we cannot go home, yeah. so it'll be sad. So of course, maybe when I post this video, I'll probably leave the link and um, okay. information about it and of course on my Instagram I will definitely come so if you find it uh, if you follow me of course you will find where is the uh, when is the event and how to come here and stuff so <laughs> I hope if you miss Singapore I want yeah, to ask you, you what will be the menu that you miss the most and you wish me? is there for the next month I mean who knows Cassandra watch it then <laughs> well, that's what, what would you want to yeah. eat, eat uh, the next round you know? oh this is tough it's not tough <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like I mean I'm not saying that she will make it right. Okay, yeah, I get it. Just, it just like I mean, I, I, I something you crave for. Just now can say if she makes meepo very nice. Oh, I really want to eat meepo. I think about it. Oh, meepo uh, or meepo, like raw meat. Raw meat. Raw meat might be possible. Right? Yeah, she or has a mag, she has magic hands. Why? Oh, I oh, she think about it right because I feel like it's so difficult to find yeah. Singapore. Uh, I mean, it is, it's, um, okay, one thing good about it is that these days there are more and more foreign food coming in Korea. Mm. Just like, I think you will know that there is some Hong Kong food around. Oh yeah, yeah, there's not some of And even we have, we have Singapore chicken rice, oh, Gangnam yeah, yeah. by this, oh, this uh, oh, jo Joel. It's Joel, right? He's doing takeout, takeout yeah, chicken, chicken rice. rice take out. So, it's a good sign that we see more and more Singapore food coming into mm. overseas country, which I think, I mean, it is good for Singapore, yeah. for Singapore itself. Yeah. Where our, our, our food our food culture is being introduced to, right, to, right. to many, many places yeah. and people know about Singapore. Because when I first started this campaign, there are even Korean who don't know where is Singapore. Right? Uh, of course, if you're a Singaporean or if you're a Korean who understands Singaporean, uh, understand English and is watching this video, we really hope that you can come and tr come to this cafe and like try what is um, Singapore food like. It might be similar and you know there's a lot of places like selling kaya toast now but there is no place that sell it like here. <laughs> of course there's soft boiled egg all there. You don't find soft boiled egg just like on any street. You only have kaya toast. And mm. yes, the kaya toast might taste similar but the point of this kaya toast set is the soft boiled egg together with, with kopi C or kopi O which is very But the fun. kaya toast today was the... Yeah, it's really I'll very different. I don't know how to the yakun that one we tried. Yeah, okay, so. Big <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yes. Oh, we make everything our own, even the jam. Oh, so they make their own jam. Oh, everything, really? even, even whatever menu you see here, everything is homemade. Even from the rice bowl, we make the dough, we make the filling, everything. The tongue is over just now? Everything. Wow. Yeah. So um, I think I'll conclude today's vlog here today. If you wish to find out more about, I don't know, Singapore culture in Korea or if you can come for the next event we, it will be really great to meet you here also together and, and the rest of the Singaporeans so yes I guess we will see you in the next video bye <laughs>